Hey everybody, welcome back to the Old Swedes Farm. Part two of our 2022 gardening planner and we made some progress. Uh, there was a lot of work in there and a lot of fun. Um, we asked you to bring four things to the table, uh, literally to the table for this part and it is a good map uh, or a good, yeah, a good map, good layout of your garden and ours, darn it's long. <laughs> We've got a long garden, as you'll see. Long and narrow. Long and narrow, um, which made it interesting. Um, a, a drawing of last year's garden, and we know where everything was last year, um, so we skimped a little bit on that one. Uh, the third part is what works and what didn't work, uh, and I got my my journal uh, with some notes uh, that I made last year and some recommendations uh, over the season, and then. Um, the fourth part is that list of seeds and and plants that you want, uh, the, the dreaming phase, and our head dreamer <laughs> got really involved with that part, and my God, we got a lot of ideas. Um, and I don't think we threw out one idea, so that tells me a couple things. Um, one is, we've got a lot of space. We yep. do. Yeah. We've got a lot of space. So let, let me just show you the, the we'll, step through them piece by piece. Here is, let me see if I can get the camera pointed the right way, but our, let's see if I can back up far enough to show the whole thing. It is a big garden and we got uh, graph paper out. Yeah, so each square is a foot. Yep, so I don't know garden. if you can zoom in. It's just regular graph paper, you guys have seen that before, but um, 35 by 170. 170. So. That's a lot. And then off the back side here, that's 100 by 40. We're not gonna get into that uh, in detail. I, no. I, I didn't have enough paper <laughs> and we don't have a table long enough. So that's our drawing of what we've got um, and our little subzone. you know, we've got the, the garden fabric laid out here. We've got two areas where we had peas, beans, and cukes last year. Um, and that's already installed. You've yeah. seen out there the... We've got the garden fabric down. We've got posts down so that we can get these climbers up and climbing. Yep. And so that's already there. Um, so then we needed to flesh it out. So what did we have last year? Um, you know, we did have a lot of peppers, peppers and such uh, in here. We did have some summer squash, zucchinis and yellow squash over here. And we're going to take all that out of this area, um, the, zoo, the summer squash. We decided that we had potatoes last year here and the ground is just so hard. So we need some raised beds. That was one of the recommendations in my journal. Yep. Peas, beans, cukes here last year. We had a bunch of tomatoes in here last year. And so we wanted to move the tomatoes to uh, avoid disease. Um, so that leads us to some ideas for, uh, let me s switch this around again. Um, so I can jump in here, my gardening journal. And I didn't use it as much as I had in the past, which is a problem. Gotta do that. Uh, last year, we were really hot early on. Remember, well, maybe, I don't know if we were even filming then. Um, but No, we weren't. It seemed like June hit and we were 90 degrees. Uh, or almost 100. It was hot. Watering was a real problem. Yep. We planted we, on we started planting Memorial May, Day weekend. May 31st, we planted. Yep. And I have a, uh, a note, July 27th, so about two weeks or two months in, first big harvest, 50 pounds of cukes, 20 pounds of peas and beans, and a ton of tomatoes. Um, so yeah. within two months, we were really into full production. Um, what worked for us? Sweet 100s, those tomatoes, on Little cherry tomatoes, just as sweet as can be. They make some great sauce for us this year. Um, Georgia rattlesnake watermelons, those were ones <laughs> we were getting consistently in the 30 th plus. 30 plus range, uh, unreal. Wait, yeah. uh, it, what we didn't enjoy, the girls feasted on. Um, and we, we had Jack B. Littles and pumpkins that uh, went to town and we did mm -hmm. some bulk sales at the end of the year that 
provided some money for some of the improvements that we want this year. Uh, now what didn't work, we need better support for the peas, beans, and cukes. So we're gonna add cattle panels yep. versus string. Mm -hmm. um, we need improved watering capability. So that's something we still need to decide. Yeah. We're still talking on options and things we can do. We got a lot of ideas. Um, raised beds for the potatoes is what I put down. Yeah. Anything that grows down into the ground, we figured we need to put a raised bed in. So like our carrots, the potatoes. I put down onions. Yep, onions, yep. anything that's going to be down in that ground needs a softer ground than our, the mostly clay we've got. Better support uh, and more space for the tomatoes and you'll see what we're going to be doing there. Uh, weed suppression was an issue um, mm -hmm. and we just got to keep working at that. Need better tomato spacing. I, I put them about two feet apart. I think they need to be about three feet apart. Good ventilation. Mm -hmm. um, really get them to go vertical. And I think we've solved and the, that. Yeah, and the support to keep them up off the ground. I think we've solved that. Yep. Um, stake the peppers from day one. We got some big yep. pepper plants. Oh, they were almost two Higher feet that, tall. Almost three feet, some yeah. of them. And we needed some supports from day one. We were trying yeah. to pound in stakes later. And if you have them from day one, you can really work on it. Yep. So we know that. Um, more fertilizer for the large pumpkins. And I want to expand the asparagus. Mm -hmm. um, so then that's kind of our, our journal things that we noted. Um, and I think I need to just leave this journal out. That's probably a great idea for everyone. Leave your journal out someplace so that when something happens, you can put a date down and you can put notes. And it's not just me. Holly probably experienced stuff that didn't get written in the journal. And I, I apologize for not having that out. Uh, got to keep that darn thing out so you can use it a whole bunch. Um, so then the next piece, the fourth piece is, remember I said, pretend the space isn't an issue and just do your dreaming. Get the catalogs out and we've got, how many catalogs over there? Uh, five. We got a whole bunch. Yeah, we just got this last one. I haven't had a chance to look through it. Um, but gurneys we've been getting before, seeds and such was a new one for us. The young seeds. J Youngs and Shumwe were both new for us. So it was fun going through those. So what'd you find? Um, what was your stuff that you pulled away? So I had found a couple of things that I'm kind of excited about. One is a new watermelon that's supposed to be ready a month before the Georgia rattlesnakes. It's a yellow, sweet, four to five pound, Little guy. Little guy that <laughs> I'm hoping that'll be ready for like 4th of July weekend and we can get that out to some people and for us to enjoy as well. And we are, uh, you know, we we're talking about what's the purpose of our garden. We want to feed ourselves, mm -hmm. have some leftovers for the, for the chickens. We want to um, have two people or two families join us in a limited CSA like we did last year. And we want to have enough product left over and produce to do some canning mm -hmm. and preserving. So yeah. we got, we're gonna plant a lot. You're gonna see we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna plant a lot. Yep. The other thing that I found was another um, cantaloupe. Again, that's gonna be a month earlier than your standard cantaloupe that we've been growing, which has been great. And so I'm looking forward to trying both of those to see and see what I can get for an earlier harvest on those and then to continue to get more from the others in the summer. And that'll feed into our CSA, uh, yep. being able to extend the season there and give more variety earlier and across the longer part of the season. Yep, we've got about four different, five different new types of tomatoes that we're gonna try. A lot of these are Which ones you going really, with? really good for canning and sauces and stuff. We're gonna go with the opalka. We're gonna go with Amish paste and San Marzano, those have all had good recommendations for, for canning and everything, low seeds, high, very meaty. Um, one that I had, as a kid, I'd seen a lot of was like these little yellow pear tomatoes. And I remember I really enjoyed those as a kid. The little tiny ones, more for popping in your mouth. They're about two inches tall, more popping in your mouth. But as I was reading on them too, they're also very meaty, low seed, good for sauces. So give those a try and see what happens and see if it's something yeah. we want to do again next year um and oh yeah another one that we were looking at to have two different um 
groups come up is our eggplants. Okay. So I've got um, two different types. We've always done just the Black Beauty, but there was another one, again, that's two weeks to a month before. And they're smaller, more They're more thinner, longer, uniform uh, sizes. Versus and, the Black Beauty, which are yeah. the big ones, yep. And so just earlier versus a later harvest is what I've been looking at. Um, and then just the regular, the peas, the beans, the cucumbers, we're gonna go with one variety this year. Um, again, kohlrabi, Brussels sprouts, broccoli. We're gonna try a couple of different things now too that I tend to use a lot more in say stir fries or Asian type cooking, which is your bok choy and your Napa cabbage. Yep, and we've never done bok choy. Uh, the Napa cabbage, I wanna make some kimchi. <laughs> I, want to, I love me some kimchi, so I want to try to make some. Never done it, but I want to try it. So uh, we'll get into some fermenting next year. So yep. Holly then, brought all those. Oh, good. Oh, and then just like three different types of lettuce, head lettuces that we're going to try too. I've never grown head lettuce. So with the broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, um, all that, mm -hmm. one thing that I need to work on also is some way to control the cabbage butterflies. I'm not throwing a bunch of chemicals down on it or, or dusts. Um, I, I'm thinking in my head of some way to net that off, uh, make a cage over a fairly large area and net that off to keep those butterflies out of there. Um, so a lot of our plan, you know, we, we didn't throw out, I don't think, much of anything off of no. your list. Holly did some dreaming and was like, well, we can fit that in. Oh, we can fit that in. Yeah, we were almost going, hey, we've got a little more space here. What else can we do? What else can in? we do? Yep, we did that. So um, let, let's show you what our plan ends up to be and then uh, see what you think. Um, one thing uh, I'll say is uh, I mentioned it outside around the, the back sides of our garden, we put in a 10 foot buffer and that was to if the farmer's spraying chemicals to, for weed suppression out in his cornfield, if the wind's blowing and it drifts up, say up to 10 feet, it won't affect our garden. Well, and also for harvest too, so that he's got a little bit of a buffer yep. when the machines come through. Good point. Uh, so what we're going to do this year is we're going to use that buffer and we're going to plant. We're going to let him do his chemicals and all that. Hopefully it doesn't blow anywhere near us, but um, then we're going to... Um, put down and we're going to use that area back there. And so we're going to use uh, a lot of that area, hopefully you can see that in the back, acorn squash. We're going to plant a whole bunch of a mounds of acorn squash and then the two kinds of cantaloupe uh, that Holly was talking or about. Actually this is, looks like this is the one version and then my earlier stuff is going to be Oh you're here. right, you're right. Uh, so so that, this will be the later and then that will be my earlier cantaloupes. So we've got um, what we're going to do for improvements. Let me see if I can just point this out. I'll use my hand instead of trying to get me in there. Um, in the back here, we're going to use cattle panels and go vertical. Go yep. right off the edge of it. And Make like a tunnel, like a hoop with them. They're 15, 16 foot cattle panels. Yep, a big tunnel. They're four feet wide. So we're going to have 40 feet of uh, cattle panel hoop. And we're going to, in that space, we can figure 16 plants per, per side, 32 plants. All along the back here, this is the east side, so um, it may shade a little bit of the acorn, but probably not too bad. There's quite a quite a distance. With the way the sun comes up and stuff in the summer too, I think we'll be fine. And all the opalka, Amish paste, all those are six to eight foot tall, so yep. this hoop should work perfect. Um, we're going to again use this with the cattle panels attached to them yep. uh, for and the cubes, got, peas, and um, beans. What are the stakes? T posts are already in there. We've got T posts in there, so we'll be able to attach our cattle panels to those yep. and give everything support. Large pumpkins. We're going to use a lot of the space for to let things roam a little bit this year. So large pumpkins. I'm going to try to go for some gusto Big here. Big moons and Big moons. Yeah, I'm going to see if I can beat my record, which is 106 pounds. We got the Minnesota midget cantaloupe, Georgia rattlesnakes, um, and the yellow doll hybrid watermelon there. Now, we, we're going to lay down the fabric and it's got the holes in it. So we've got 11 rows here. Brussels sprouts and herbs, eggplants are going in there, the two variety, a whole row of green peppers uh, spaced 18 inches. Uh, all these are 18 inches uh, with three foot separation. Red and yellow peppers, broccoli, cauliflower, hot peppers in two rows, 
the bok choy, cabbage, and lettuce. So 35 feet of all of that. Then what we're adding here, and we'll show you this, we're going to add some raised beds. And I'm not going to let out the secret of what we're doing, but raised beds, right where the, you walk in, three foot walkway, two foot separation. We should be able to kneel on both sides to work, tend the raised beds. Two for potatoes, two for onions, so two different varieties of onions, carrots, and kohlrabi. Um, and then over in the area that's 100 by 40, some Waltham buttercup squash, uh, or butternut squash, a buttercup squash, spaghetti squash, um, and we've already had orders for Jack B. Littles and pumpkins, and then the summer squash. So a lot of stuff. Let's see, lots of stuff going in there um, in this design. And it'll be good to have this and see how uh, how uh, it really shakes out. You know, there's always going to be some other changes, but it was a process. Yep, but uh, it's fun. It gets you thinking summer. We know the days are starting to get longer, and it's got you thinking this isn't going to last forever. <laughs> that white <laughs> stuff out there is not going to last. Um, we're going to have black stuff out there to get our hands into in hopefully a couple of months. About two to three months, yeah. Um, I'd love to hear what you guys think of this whole process, um, what you think of what we're planning to put in, uh, what you think about mm -hmm. uh, you know, the, the plan as a whole. Uh, if you see any flaws, we'd love to hear about them. Um, but then also, if you've gone through this process, let us know what you're putting in, uh, the good, the bad, the ugly, uh, mm -hmm. but we'd love your comments. Uh, if you like the process, this two-part video process, give us the thumbs up. We'd love to love to hear from you and uh, we'd love to have you subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet uh, please do anyways now we got to go out the third part i should have i i jumped to the give us a thumbs up the third part holly's got to now go through the seed catalogs and order some stuff and we got to go <laughs> to the stores we know that have the seeds we want or the plants and order those so now the fun part comes of ordering and we got to spend yeah. money on cattle panels and Yep. More kettle panels. Getting ready for the spring. <laughs> and steaks and uh, getting all the infrastructure pieces together. So uh, part three is fun as well. So anyways, give us your feedback and uh, let us know what you're planning to put in this year. We'd love to hear from you. Take care. Bye.